It's interesting. We still do things uh, in, in many ways the same way they did them years and years ago. Uh, you know, but a lot of things have changed. Uh, things have become more computerized. You have to become computer literate. Uh, in fact, in our case, all of our cows are electronically identified. Uh, they wear a transponder, a radio frequency transponder on their leg, and it identifies the cow when she comes into the barn and records how much milk she gives, how many steps she's taken since she uh, was last in the barn. And uh, things have changed, uh, you know. Some things have changed, some things stay the same. Actually, my grandfather was a, a horse person. And the old story goes that when my dad uh, graduated from K-State after the war, dad came back and handed the keys, and my, his dad handed the keys to him and says, here it is, it's all yours, you know. And then dad started the registered Holstein part of the operation, and, and uh, it's been in Holsteins ever since, you know, black and whites all over the place. There's a lot of consumer perception today in this country, in this state, that livestock, food animals, uh, aren't necessarily treated the way some people think they should. Do you encounter any of that perception at all in, in your business, in your life? We hear those perceptions that people have, and, and, and because it's a consuming public, you have to take those, those, uh, those thoughts seriously. Uh, but it certainly isn't, doesn't reflect any way, shape or form, the way, uh, the way cattle are handled here or the way I see them traveled or the way I see them handled all over the country. I, I travel, I get a chance to travel a lot and I see dairy farmers all over the country. And, you know, here again, if we're not, if we're not good to our cows, uh, you know, it's, it's not going to be a profitable situation to us. Um, you know, I mean, not only do we do it to make a profit, but we do it because we love animals. And, uh, uh, you know, you're not going to see that here and you're not going to see that on 99% of the, of the farms that, that have livestock in this country. I, you know, I just don't think it's a problem. I, it's a perception problem, but it certainly isn't a problem here on, on, in most farms. I think, you know, we have enough mandates the way it is. I mean, that's just obviously the way I feel. And, I, and I'm not sure how you can mandate uh, morals. I'm not sure how you can mandate, you know, I mean, are they going to have people out here watching you all the time to make sure you treat your cattle correctly? Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm not a mandate kind of a person. And, and I think, by and large, you know, you see footage of cattle being mistreated, but they're so rare. And, they, and it's the same footage over and over all the time. Uh, you know, so they had to work pretty hard, I think, to find those kinds of situations. My hat's off to Farm Bureau for taking a proactive approach you know, to animal welfare. I think we have to get the story out there. We have to educate people that we have to debunk the, the misconceptions uh, of how we're treating animals out here because you know we're kind to animals uh, but yet we're a, we are in the food producing business and uh, we're, we're doing our best to try to produce the best product that we possibly can and be kind to animals. One of the famous quotes in the dairy industry was by W.D. Horde, you know, when he said uh, the dairy cow is the foster mother of the human race. And uh, that's very true, you know, cows are, well, they're very gentle creatures and, uh, you know, they, they should be treated with respect.